Hello, Kenny Jacobs here from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm a PGA teaching professional, and my videos talk both about the great game of golf and being a Christian and living in the last days. I'm going to talk a little bit today about slow play on the golf course. You know, the, the big thing is to just be ready when it's your turn to hit and play ready golf. We don't need to worry so much about honors and who's supposed to tee off first or who's out. If you're ready to hit, hit. And also, do your preparation for the shot that you're going to hit while other guys in your group are hitting their shot. That way you still have time to make your practice swings that you want to make and you have time to do your pre-shot routine and have a pre-shot routine. If you have a pre-shot routine and you practice it and you work on it, it really ought to take only about 12 to 15, 20 seconds at the most to go from your practice swing to your address position and actually hitting the shot. You'll play better golf if you don't stand over the ball as long. You'll definitely play better golf if you don't overthink things. And as long as we're in a good rhythm and we keep moving, it's definitely easier to play good golf. Um, how many of you have ever had a situation where you're trying to get as many holes as you can in before it gets dark or before it starts raining or something and you just kind of play pretty fast? Um, and a lot of times you play really good golf when you do that because you're not overthinking things. But it doesn't mean you can't still be prepared. You can't, uh, it doesn't mean you can't use your range finder or whatever and, and do your practice swings and, and have a pre-shot routine. That's very, very important to helping you feel ready to hit the shot. If you don't feel ready to hit it, don't hit it. Step back, go through your routine again. Make sure you're, you have a nice positive thought going through your mind before you hit it and hit it. But keep your pre-shot routine to about 12 to 20 seconds and then pull the trigger and do as much preparation while other people are hitting or while you're waiting for the group in front of you to get out of the way. On the putting green, read your putt while other people are putting as long as you're not bothering somebody who's playing a shot. Um, and play ready golf. When you get to the tee and you're ready to go, hit it. And that way we can keep the pace of play going and uh, you'll also play better golf. Now you also want to be ready for the end times. Jesus said, watch and pray always that you are counted worthy to escape all the things that are going to come to pass in the last days. And then he told a parable of the ten virgins where five of them were ready to go with the bridegroom when he came and five of them weren't. They didn't have oil for their lamps. And when they heard that the bridegroom was coming, they went to find oil. And by then the bridegroom already came and took the five that were ready. And then when the five that weren't came and knocked on the door, they wouldn't let them in. The door was shut. We need to be ready at all times. We don't know the day or the hour that Jesus is coming back. But we know He is coming, and we need to be ready. Be ready when it's your turn to hit, and be ready when Jesus comes back. We are definitely living in the last days. All of the signs are here.